One of the other things we talked about just we, we, talk, we talked about briefly was the difference, the culture and cultural attitudes towards women, towards children, mm -hmm. uh, towards towards the power structure in general, who's the you know who's the top of the chain, uh, and uh, and the effects of sexual assault, the the maybe the maybe the amount of, but also the effects of of so if you're if if, if the culture is very um, mm, torn up about sex, like the Catholic Church, or uh, many very um, fundamentalist, more fundamentalist um, situations, that the that the that the the amount of sexual assault, perhaps we don't know, we don't have the stats on this, whether the amount of sexual assaults in those situations is greater or less. But, certain, but is, is the effect of those, because the, the effect on the victim, I'm, I'm, I'm a bad person, I'm really basically a really bad person, or this wouldn't have happened to me, mm -hmm. rather than I'm not, you know, I, I, wrong place, wrong time, or, you know, bad luck, or whatever it is, as opposed to bad person, itis. Yeah. I think it seems even whether it's domestically in the U.S. or internationally, almost it's almost universal that victims feel that they, they feel shame with it and in certain cultures they're going to feel much more so um, but that somehow they were to blame or they played some sort of role I think especially more so sexual abuse versus sexual assaults but that they, they played a, a role in it or had somehow they, they continue to blame themselves even when it's the most blatant violent acts that we've seen still that victim takes on some of that burden and that's such a I think societal you know cultural um, issue and even we see you know here we are in 2014 you think we, we've watched the news and how many cases have we seen just in the last year where we've been putting the blame on a victim still um, some of the cases in the Midwest I, I don't remember specifically all of them but I've been surprised we've heard judges put the blame on the victims or where you re see virally in the, in the internet you know why the victim did this why was she, still once again why was she wearing this why was she there at that time of night and internally I mean a victim internalizes this still is that is that one of the uh, among the aside from the cultural modality is that one of the things that people do some of the time is, is that they take they take ownership of whatever happened to them in a way to own it you know and it it it, it back it, it it bucks them um, uh, because I I I I'm controlling the volume in the picture here um, and um, so I ergo I was responsible for that and that's. I, I found myself doing that sometimes, uh, but it has it has really scurrilous effects, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And I, I think offenders reinforce those messages. Mm. They will tell children, they will tell adult victims as well that they're responsible for their own assault. Um, and it is it is a, a very serious problem when children carry those messages with them long after the abuse has ended, um, because it causes such endless suffering when you believe that you've done something to bring on such horrible treatment you begin to accept that kind of treatment in in your life in other relationships so it is very important for children to overcome those ideas that they might have about what led to the abuse and uh, the damage that it might have caused because there is a great deal of of hope children can overcome these experiences adults can as well